Let's talk about viewing and navigating the charts within the Zener 360 platform. If you recall from the previous section, we had minimized our chart to get it out of the way so we could view our platform. To maximize the chart, you simply go down to your, your tray, your activity tray, and you locate the Z that stands for Zener 360. Click on the chart and it'll pull it up in your window. And of course, you can drag the chart by the corners to resize it. The first thing you are going to want to do when you pull up a chart is customize it to your needs. Keep in mind that anything that you put onto this chart, whether it's indicators or settings, can be saved as a template so that all other charts that you open up after this will come out identically. You'll notice in the upper left hand side you can toggle your time frame. It, by default it comes as five minutes, but most traders need something a little longer term than that. Uh, you can do an hour chart, a four hour chart, or even a daily chart. And you can maximize or minimize the chart based on your, your needs. Zoom in, zoom out. You can also change the view and, and what that uh, entails is telling the platform how many days of data you want to view. If you're looking at a daily chart, you may want to do 30 days. And if you want more than that, you, you can view more by simply zooming out. Another thing you might want to do is uh, check on this right margin button. You'll notice the chart data is all the way scrunched to the right so that you can't really, I mean you can see the last bar, but you, you can't do a whole lot with it if you're drawing chart lines and that sort of thing. So if you click right margin, it'll give you a little extra room. You'll notice there's also a default magnifying glass. You can uh, quickly zoom in or out by choosing a percentage of zoom. And this button right here, it looks like a thong, but it's actually a link or a chain link. And what this does is it links your chart to your quote board. So this is a pretty nice feature if you like to toggle between multiple charts. So for example, uh, right now this is a chart of the E-mini S&P, but if you wanted to see corn or wheat or something else that's already in your quote board, you could click on this. Notice it's highlighted now. And then if you click on the wheat, your chart changes to wheat. If you click on corn, your chart will change to corn. You can add indicators to your chart by clicking on the indicator button and you'll notice you can shop around. There's different uh, channel indicators, moving averages, oscillators, volume. You can also hit this button here to give you a, a histogram of volume on the right hand side of the chart. You'll also be able to put price alert. For example, if the mini goes to 2150 and you want to know about it, you can put an alert in and it'll, the chart will actually let you know when that occurs. Now a neat function of this charting software is that you can actually trade futures from the chart. If you click on trade mode, you'll notice that an order entry box populates on the right hand side. You can easily just choose buy market or sell market. Or you can scroll your mouse up or down the axis and choose to buy or sell whichever commodity you're looking at. We're going to switch this over to the E-mini S&P by clicking on the quote board. Now if we wanted to trade the E-mini S&P, uh, again, we could just hit buy or sell at the market, but another way to do it would be to put our car cursor to the price that we want to enter the market. For example, if we wanted to sell at 2132, we could just click right here and you'll notice it says sell one E-mini S&P at 2132. We could do the same thing if we wanted to buy at 2108. Uh, another thing to keep in mind is as you're placing orders, an order confirmation ticket will pop up. If you don't want that order confirmation to pop up, you can check this box and hit OK. And that basically will allow your order to go directly to the exchange without any confirmation. I prefer to have confirmation even if it takes an extra second or so to confirm because trust me, mistakes can be expensive. You'll notice at the bottom there is another tab for another chart. You can add as many tabs as you'd like. So I've already showed you how to toggle between various markets by linking your chart to the quote board, but I'm, now I'm going to show you a different method of toggling between charts. You can actually open multiple charts within the same window and keep them in tabs. So if you right click within the chart, find add chart, and then you'll have a choice between add new window, which would actually add a second chart and a whole new window, or you could choose new tab. And once you have the new tab open, 
you want to select a market to, to trade. We're going to make this a bond chart. So now you'll notice that we have two tabs at the bottom, an E-mini S&P and a 30-year Treasury bond. And we can just simply toggle between the two. If you wanted to do things such as change the background of the chart, uh, change the color of the bars, any type of customization, if you click on this purple arrow here on the right-hand side, it will populate a menu. And you can simply go through and, and pick various array of customizations. So let's assume that we have a particular trading method that we're using that requires that we have certain indicators. Uh, let's just put a couple of random indicators on the chart here. And you'll notice every time you add an indicator, you'll have the opportunity to change the parameters. Once you get the chart the way that you want it, you might want to consider saving it as a template. If you right click, a menu will pop up. You choose template and save as default. You can name it anything you want. We'll just name ours DeCarly. That way, when you open up a new chart, it will come up using the default template. So let's try it. So we opened a new chart using corn futures, and because we had set this as our default template, the new chart automatically has the indicators that we had put on and the volume settings. To make sure that this saves, go to the File menu, Global Settings, and then Save. If you like to use drawing tools, trend lines, that sort of thing, you'll find all of those on the left-hand side of the screen. And in theory, if you draw trend lines and trend channels and you save everything, you save your work before you close the platform, they will be here for you when you come back. So once again, you're going to go, go to the file menu. Make sure you do it on the platform itself, not the chart. Go to file, save your workspace, save your settings, make sure that everything is sticking. Okay, now we just assumed that there was already a chart open and ready for us to, to work on from the beginning. It was part of our template or our workspace. However, what if you're using a workspace that doesn't have a chart or if you deleted yours or, or whatever the case is, if you want to open a fresh chart, it's easy to do. I'll show you a couple different ways. First, we're going to close this one out. You might recall that I mentioned anything that you have in your quote board can easily be pulled up as a chart by right-clicking and choosing chart. So that would be one way to pull up a chart, and you'll notice that it has all of the settings that we saved as our default template. Another way to do it would be to go to quotes and charts at the top, new chart, type in the symbol of whichever market we want to trade, and we have a fresh chart. One last thing before we move on to the next subject is if you are looking for a little more customization or some more features that you don't see, you can click on this little arrow, go to Add Remove Buttons, and then you can actually toggle on or off which menu items are going to show up in the top menu. So if you're interested, you can shop around. And anything that's highlighted here, if you notice highlighted in blue, will show up on your top menu here in Icons.